Hello friends, in this video I will be discussing 25 important questions that will be asked in the cyber security inter interviews like SOC analyst and Splunk specialist or security specialist. So here the 25 questions will be concentrating on the Splunk because it's a very big tool. Many of the companies are using this as their security solution. Okay, so that's why uh, Splunk is an important and uh, highly used than ArcSight and QRadar. So I will be discussing 25 important question and answers related to Splunk. This is a very important question that uh, you will be asked uh, related to Splunk uh, how it is different uh, from Spark like compare uh, Splunk with Spark. Spark is also a big uh, data science related tool, uh, a database management tool. So compare Splunk with Spark. So Splunk and Spark deployment area. Splunk is deployed for collecting large amounts of machine generated data whereas Spark iterative applications and in-memory processing. Nature of tool, it's a proprietary tool, but Spark is an open source tool. Working mode, Splunk works in streaming mode, whereas Spark both streaming and batch modes. <coughs> What is Splunk? This is a major question. This is a very important question. Uh, uh, Splunk, uh, what is Splunk or what do you know about Splunk? Like generalized question on Splunk. Splunk is a Google for our machine generated data. It's a software engine that can be used for searching, visualizing, monitoring and reporting of our enterprise data. Splunk takes valuable machine data and turns it into powerful operational intelligence by providing real-time insights into our data through charts, alerts, reports and more. What are the common port numbers used by Splunk? This is a very important question. Definitely they will uh, like uh, ask you about the number of ports, the uh, common ports. Okay, there are so many ports uh, that the Splunk utilizes uh, for its operation, but there are uh, some common ports that uh, you must know. Okay, so here uh, I have provided like uh, Splunk web port. Uh, the port number for this is 8000. Uh, Splunk management port uh, 8089. Splunk indexing uh, port 9997, Splunk index replication port 8080 and Splunk network port is 514. What are the components of Splunk? Explain Splunk architecture. This is one of the most uh, frequently asked uh, Splunk interview question and below are the components of uh, Splunk. Uh, there is a diagram, I had not put that diagram but you can Google search it. It's a basic diagram which contains parts like uh, search head, indexer and forwarder and deployment server. So these are the, if, if when you like why I had not put that architecture means you don't draw it and show it. So as your interview will be through call or uh, voice call or through video call you have to just uh, tell the components and their functionalities. So search head provides the GUI for searching indexer indexes the machine data forwarder forwards logs to the indexer and deployment server manages Splunk components in a distributed environment which is the latest Splunk version in use Splunk 8.2.1 as of the latest you can search in the internet you will get the latest one maybe Splunk 9 is available now Splunk Indexer. What is Splunk Indexer? Most commonly asked question and what are the stages of uh, Splunk Indexing? Splunk Indexer is a Splunk Enterprise component that creates and manages indexes. The primary function of an indexer are indexing incoming data and searching the index data picture. Searching the index data, sorry, searching the index data. What is Splunk Forwarder? What are the types of Splunk Forwarders are there? There are two types of Splunk Forwarders, Universal Forwarder and Heavyweight Forwarder. In that Universal Forwarder, the Splunk agent is e installed on a non-Splunk system to gather data locally and it can't parse or index data. See, uh, Universal Forwarder is an agent installed on a non-Splunk system to gather data locally, okay, to collect data and it can parse or index data. It, you know, its primary purpose is to collect and forward data. That's it, okay. So, whereas Heavyweight Forwarder, a full instance of the Splunk with advanced functionality. So, th this performs parsing, okay. So, this is the major two types of uh, forwarders that is Universal Forwarder UF and Heavyweight Forwarder HWF. 
it generally uh, works as a uh, heavyweight uh, forwarder generally works as a remote collector intermediate forwarder and possibly possible data filter and since it parses data it is not recommended for uh, production systems can you name a few most important configurations files in splunk yes props.conf indexes.conf inputs.conf transforms.conf and server.conf so what are the types of splunk licenses available enterprise license free license forwarder license and beta license license for search heads uh, for distributed search and licenser for cluster members for index replication what is splunk app this is again a very common question splunk app is a container directory of app configurations searches and dashboards etc in splunk where is splunk default configuration stored very common question okay uh, splunk home slash etc slash system slash default this is where the default configuration is stored what are the features not available in splunk free splunk free does not include below features such as uh, authentication and schedule searching alerting distributed search uh, forwarding in tcp http so these are the things which are not available in free splunk what happens if the license master is unreachable if the license master is not available the license slave will start a 24 hour timer out of which the search will be blocked on the license slave however users will not be able to search for data in that slave until it can reach the license master again what is the summary index in splunk a summary index is a default splunk index the index that splunk enterprises uses if we do not indicate another one if you plan to run a variety of summary index reports we may not we may need to create additional summary indexes what is splunk db connect splunk db connect is a generic sql database plugin for splunk that allows us to easily integrate database information with splunk queries and reports Can you write down a general regular expression for extracting the IP address from logs? This is this can be asked. Okay, this can be asked. There are multiple ways in which uh, we can extract the IP addresses from logs. Below are few examples. Uh, see the examples I have given here. You can go through uh, these examples and can prepare likewise. Explain stats versus transaction commands. This is another frequently asked question uh, on Splunk uh, which will test developer or engineer's knowledge the transaction command is the most useful in two specific cases when the unique id alone is not sufficient to discriminate between two transaction this is the case when the identifier is reused for example web sessions identified by a cookie client ip in this case uh, the time span or pauses are also used to segment the data into transaction when an identifier is reused say in dhcp logs a particular message identifies the beginning or end of a transaction where it is desirable uh, to see the raw text of events combined rather than an analysis of the constituent fields of the events in other case it's usually better to use stats as the performance of the stats command is higher it can be used especially in a distributed search environment if there is a unique id the stats command can be used how to troubleshoot splunk performance issues the answer to this question would be very wide but mostly an interviewer would be looking for the following keywords check splunk d.log for errors check server performance issues that is cpu memory usage disk input output etc install sos splunk on splunk app and check for warnings and errors in its dashboard check the number of saved searches currently running and their consumption of system resources install and enable firebug a uh, firefox extension log into splunk and open firebug panels then switch to the net panel the net panel will show us the http request and responses along with the time spent in each uh, this is or uh, this will give us a lot of information quickly such as uh, which requests are hanging splunk which requests are blameless etc what are buckets explains splunk bucket life cycle splunk places index data in directories called buckets it is physically a directory containing events of a certain period the bucket moves through several stages as it ages below are the various stages it goes through hot a hot bucket contains newly indexed data it is open for writing there can be one or more hot buckets for each index warm A warm bucket consists of the data rolled out from a hot bucket and there are many warm buckets. 
cold a cold bucket has the data that is rolled out from a warm bucket there are many cold buckets frozen bucket frozen bucket is come price of data rolled out from a cold bucket the indexer deletes the frozen data by default but we can archive it our cheered data can later be thawed by default the buckets are located in splunk home where lib splunk default db slash db what is the difference between stats and event stats command the stats command generates summary statistics of all the existing fields in search results and saves them as values in the new fields even stats is similar to the stats command except that the aggregation results are added in line to each e event and only the aggregation is pertinent to that event the even stats command computes requested statistics like stats does but aggregates them to the original raw data what are the top direct competitors to splunk logstash logly loglogic sumo logic etc are some of the top direct competitors to splunk what do splunk license specify Splunk license to specify how much data we can index per calendar day. How does uh, Splunk determine one day from a licensing perspective? In terms of licensing or uh, licensing per perspective, for Splunk one day is from midnight to midnight on the clock of the license master. How are forwarded license purchases there are uh, included with the Splunk therefore no need to purchase separately. What is the command for restarting splunk web server this is another frequently asked question for uh, many of the interviews get thoroughly uh, like idea about the some of the commands other than these which are very useful uh, the command is splunk start splunk web so these are the important 25 questions which are frequently asked okay so if the answer